Hello everybody. I just finished up kind of doing everything that I wanted to do with my 2018 Tracker Topper 12 by 36 John boat. And today I was just wanting to cover some things that questions that I had before I bought the boat. Um, after I got the boat, kind of the way I did things, set it up. Uh, maybe some questions, you, this may answer some questions that you guys might have. So hopefully uh, this kind of this walk around today will help you all out uh, we'll start up front here with the trolling motor and how i mounted it um, this mount here slides into the front handle uh, i bought this at cabela's i believe you can also get them at bass pro it's made of plastic um, pretty heavy duty plastic i would say I, I tried to beef it up with some one by four there with a couple of bolts through it uh, just so that the mount on the trolling motor could grab a little better. Um, seems to work pretty well. It is a little bit wobbly, but um, I read online before I bought it in the reviews that it was going to flex a little bit. Um, but it seems to work. I've had it out twice, um, and for uh, my use, it's worked so far. Um, Hopefully it'll last a while. If not, I'll have to figure something else out. But what it did was <clears throat> it kept me from having to drill holes in the boat to mount a transom bracket or whatever may be. I, I just really didn't want to drill holes in the boat um, throughout the whole process. So that's how we did the trolling motor there. It also allowed me, my next big thing in question was what was I gonna do with the front navigation light? I didn't wanna buy the aluminum housing with the green and red uh, lens and bulb in there and leave it sticking up. I wanted something that could halfway, that could be flush mounted to the uh, front of the boat here. And I ended up getting from Academy these uh, navigation light sockets and it takes a pole light and it just pops right in there. Um, and then when it's not in there, you just close the lid there and it's flush mount out of the way and it's able to be centered in the middle of the boat there and the trolling motor clears it, so which is really good. Uh, with the wiring here, I just went with a basic uh pigtail connector here uh to the front of the boat here just to connect the trolling motor um and then i ran eight gauge wire from the back of the boat which we'll talk about here in a sec to the front and uh this is one of the few holes that i drilled that is a half inch hole there that i stubbed my wires out um to be able to get the wires to the front there. When I'm in transport, I just tuck those right under the front, just like that, and uh, we're good to go. I ran this wire in the uh, PEX pipe that I painted green. I ran it, uh, you can see it here. I ran it from the front uh, through the, the rib there on the side in, in behind the seat there all the way to the back i think it makes it look really clean um you don't have wires flopping everywhere and i did have to paint it green obviously that way it would halfway match but you can see where it comes out right there and then comes across the back of the transom nice and neat into a breaker that's a 50 amp breaker i just have a 30 pound thrust trolling motor so that'll be sufficient there that's what Minn Kota recommended um, through the breaker and then up here to the battery like I said try to keep everything nice and neat I know it's just a John boat, but I wanted to look I wanted it to look very clean and I think it turned out uh, Very very well I'm really happy with it and then the rear uh, Navigation light the tall pole light um, We can see comes across the back here used all stainless steel uh, screw so hopefully don't have no rust and I heat heat shrinked everything and then this would be the back Navigation socket here just the same as the front flush mount um, Stainless steel hardware takes the pole light the 24 inch pole light uh, for this one here um, Flush mount out of the way seems to work. We're very well again. I got these sockets at Academy uh, That's Academy's brand Marine Raider. I believe it is uh, really good sockets there. 
uh like i said i drilled very few holes that was kind of my thing going into this like i said i know it's just a john boat but i wanted to keep <clears throat> as many holes i didn't want to drill hardly any holes at all and i only had to drill very few um like i said up front had to drill the hole uh the half inch hole for the wires to go through um and then the two socket sockets for the pole lights um are the only two other holes i had to drill besides the mounting hardware for the pole light and paddle which i'll get to here in a sec um, but those were inch and an eighth holes there but it kind of had to be because i wanted that flush mount socket there uh, talk about the pole lights and paddle real quick like i said i wanted everything to be clean didn't want this stuff rattling around everywhere so again i picked these up at academy as well got got my rear my uh, back pole light here uh the 24 inch on some uh rubber mounts here screwed straight into the back of the seat there um the paddle holder as well comes across the back of the seat there and we can see uh connects there again stainless steel hardware trying to keep everything nice that way it won't rust and then my front mount uh red and green pole light is down there on the bottom as you can see also in rubber mounts that way it doesn't rattle around and you know roll all over the boat and i just think it looks nice uh picked up a tahatsu engine uh it's a five horse pushes this boat pretty well uh with just me in it this was before i had a battery but with just me in it i weigh 190 pounds uh it will push this boat 18 miles an hour that was on a calm day no wind um i was very pleased with it with me and my wife in it uh my wife weighs 115 pounds so together we're right there at about uh three what is that 305 roughly uh it will do 15 miles an hour again that was before i had the battery in it which weighs 46 pounds uh interstate battery as y'all can see right there uh we did 15 miles an hour before the battery uh, i will be hopefully doing a top speed and made like a stabilization video that was a question i had before i bought the boat how stable is it um here in the near future uh bought a transom out here i'll talk about the trailer here in a sec this is not a boat trailer but i think it turned out pretty well uh, uh the transom saver here i just picked up at academy it's a reese towing uh transom saver comes with uh, uh little attachments there it doesn't have the pin but it's got like some uh, angle iron there that i bolted onto the back of this trailer and this seems to work very well for this five horsepower motor again it doesn't really weigh anything but works very well keeps it keeps it solid to the trailer there uh as far as the trailer goes i had this um we, we just have a small one car garage uh, this is a trailer from harbor freight it's a foldable trailer uh four by eight four foot wide eight foot long folding trailer from harbor freight i picked it up for 250 dollars. it wasn't intended to to uh, have this boat on it had the trailer long before i had the boat but uh i got tired of picking up the boat and hauling it in the back of my truck to be honest and uh i decided to put it on here and it's worked out very well uh for me it doesn't dog walk i'm able to do 65 70 miles an hour just fine with the boat exactly like you see it uh and it, and it pulls very nice the only thing that i had to do kind of the only modification to make this trailer work and so that i had clearance for my tailgate was i had to extend the tongue 24 inches and all i did was i picked me up some uh two inch channel it's a uh, quarter inch thick two by two square tubing and i sleeved it back into here uh this is where the original mount was for the harbor freight trailer this is where your 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 uh, coupler would have went on and i sleeved it back into there and then uh i've got my two foot extension there and everything clears well my tailgate clears um and i'm able to have enough tongue weight that the trailer will not wander side to side or dog walk so very pleased with this setup uh if you have any questions leave a comment below um and i'll try to get back with you as soon as i can hopefully this helps you guys out uh like i said i tried to keep everything clean and uh you know this is you don't have to do it this way but i think it works very well nothing is able everything's secured from the battery uh to to the pole lights 
to everything there. One quick thing on the battery before we go. I did, like I said, I was big and not drilling holes into the boat. So what I did was picked up this battery tray here from uh, Academy as well. And I secured it to the floor of the boat using uh, industrial Velcro that I got. Um, and it works very well, uh, well as well. Doesn't slide around, keeps it all secure and keeps you from drilling holes in your boat. So very good. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a top speed now that I have the boat kind of rigged up. Basically everything I'm going to do to the boat is done. May add a front deck later, but shouldn't, shouldn't add too much weight. I think I got it figured at about 18 pounds more when I, when I, uh, do that front deck. But, uh, yeah, I'll be doing the top speed and stabilization video. So be on the lookout for that. If you have any comments, uh, leave them below and I'll get back with you. Thank you for watching.